Hi, uh, Adam here, and in today's review, I'm going to go through a software called Videos. Now, in short, Videos is a web based app that allows you to create video animations really quickly and really easy, and just allows you to create videos that pop and stand out a little bit better. Now, I'm going to give you a review, I'll give you a demo, we'll walk through, and I'll show you how to use all the features of the app. We'll talk about the pros and the cons. I'll touch on some of the upgrades as well, pretty much to give you as much information as possible so that you can make an educated decision as to whether this is something that you would like to pick up. Now, in my opinion, it should be. It's great quality and it's definitely worth the investment. Now, the company has been around for about five years. They're based in the UK and it's a really, really robust platform. Um, Jamie Garside, Joey Zoto and David Chamberlain are the three guys behind it very experienced video marketers and video creators and genuinely nice people that I like and that I believe you can trust. So with that being said, before we log in, if I could just ask you to give me a thumbs up if you like the video so far, subscribe to the channel and hit the old bell notification so you don't miss any future videos. And with that being said, let's go and hop inside the videos app. Okay, so I've just logged on. I've removed my face so I don't cover any important information. And if you have any questions or concerns with your purchase, they have a help section here. Click on this and it brings up their live chat and you can send them a message here. Close it off by clicking this. And you can open it up again by clicking this little purple thing here as well. So they've got a good team of people that will respond to your messages in a timely manner should you need stuff. So if we also hover over our avatar, we can see our profile, any videos you've created, any templates in your favorites, any subscriptions that you may have, you want to update your payment method and all of that stuff. And they've got some training here, which they've called the university. So there's stuff there, we'll click off. They've also got their tutorials here. If you hover over this, you can see training, university insight. So if I open up a new tab when I click on training and we'll just click on this new tab and when it opens up we've got how to use you know the different elements of videos, how to use animations, how to get more out of logo stingers and all of this stuff because videos is basically designed to quickly and easily create little things that you can add to your videos to make them look better. It's not a video editor in of itself. It's an application that will allow you to create better looking things to add to your videos, if that makes sense. So these are the templates. Uh, we can see we've got portrait, landscape, and square. So if you do a lot of stuff on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, you may want to use square, portrait more for Pinterest and Instagram, uh, landscape if you're going to use YouTube videos and all that stuff. So if we scroll down, we can just hover over something and you can see the video starts playing. There's no sound in this case. But you can kind of go across and you can find one which you think looks nice to you. And again, we can kind of go down. They've got a bunch of different things. On the left hand side, we've got different um, categories. So if you want to get an intro or an outro, let's click on outro, for example. And it will bring up some templates that you can use as an outro for your videos. Um, you'll find that some of them may not be as good as others and you'll find some don't maybe match your brand but they've got quite a lot of things in here that you can play around with. So let's hover over this one, for example. Okay, and this one you can add your text. So it could be subscribe to me on YouTube or you know join my Facebook group and that kind of stuff. I'll show you how to create some stuff in a minute. So let's come back over to all templates. We'll bring that up a little bit. This is the videos that you've created in the past. You can kind of go back and you can um, see them, get rid of them, do what you want. So I'm gonna click on this one, just as an example. It's called Raindrops Neon. And I'm going to hit customize and it's going to open up and it's very simple to use. It's not meant to be overly complicated. You know, the Adobe suite and things like that, they're incredibly complicated. And while they can do a lot more, the learning curve is extreme. So you can see here that basically this is a five second, you know, logo stinger or intro. So what we can do, we can change a lot of things. So the first thing is we can actually upload our logo here. So I'm going to click on this and then we get a few options. We can use Pexels, Unsplash, Pixabay. They connect with a lot of these stock sites and that allows you to choose images if you don't have one yourself. But if you do have a logo that you would like to upload, you can click on that. I'm going to come down. I've got to try and find. I've got so much stuff on here. VMI. Uh, we've got a logo in here somewhere. We'll find a logo. Um, scroll right the way down. And hopefully we'll find a logo. In fact, I'll have to pause the video if I can't find it. Oh, my logo. That might be enough. Let's see if that works. There we go. That's the logo. 
So let's say I want to edit this, I can click on edit. Um, sometimes the image that you have might be, you know, too big, too small, you can crop it. This already is a transparent PNG file, but if you wanted to, you could remove the background. And once you're done playing around with it, you'd hit done. So I'm not gonna play around with it, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Then we're gonna click on color, so let's click on this. And we can see there are different elements to the video. We've got the logo, uh, we've got this little light at the bottom, the light at the top, and you can see what it is. This light, the, this pink light here is this one. So let's say I don't wanna have pink, I wanna create something that's a bit reddish. I could kind of you know, drag that across and choose something like that. Now it's not gonna show right away, and that could be one of the cons. You don't actually see it until you do a few extra steps. Um, the neon light at the top, let's uh, make that a ready as well. And um, the neon light in the center, we'll leave that as it is. The wall color, let's, yeah, let's leave the wall color as well. And let's just change this. Let's make it green. Now it won't actually look nice, but I just want to make it stand out. So that's that. And then we can hit continue. And then we get the audio. Now we don't have to have an audio. If you don't want an audio, you can uncheck this. If you do want to use their default audio, leave it checked and you can play it to listen. So you get the idea. Um, I'm going to have it without an audio. Uh, and then we're going to hit preview. And this is really cool because this allows us to preview the video before we decide to render it. And this is a relatively new function. Now it does take a little while to kind of pop up. Oh, there we go. We can see that there. Okay, so we've got that. It's got to wait for this to pop up. Let's go back to colors. Okay, we've got that, we've got that, cool. So let's go back. And if we like it, great. If we don't, we can go back and change it. So let's hit continue, scroll down. Now some of these templates will allow you to put text in as well. It depends on the template in question. This one isn't a, temp a template that has text. So we'll hit continue, we'll hit create. Now it's a waiting game. We've got to wait for videos to be rendered. Now you can see here it says rendering and it really depends on a couple of things. How many people are using the app at the same time um, to how quick your video will render. Now I do know when softwares go live there's a lot of buzz and a lot of people kind of pick them up and play around with them at the same time. So if you're buy videos and you go straight into it during its launch phase, you probably will find the rendering speed is a little bit slower than it is if you wait, you know, a week or two for the launch to happen. And once it's rendered, you'll be given a, a download link like this, which you'll click and it will download your video as an MP4 file. So I want to pause this video and we'll come back in a second when it's rendered. So good news, the video has rendered. Bad news is my face is back. Now the video took about one and a half minutes to render. I would have liked it to be a little bit quicker, but it is what it is. Now if I click on this little download thing, it's gonna open up and it's gonna download onto my desktop. So if I double click on this to open it up, and uh, just press play, you'll see the video. You can see it's nice and slick. There was no audio because we removed the audio. We've got a logo, we changed the coloring a little bit. And it looks really professional. And if I was to add this into one of my videos or use it wherever I wanted to do, it would help my video pop a little bit better. Now there's nothing to stop you doing this for other people and making a little side income or having a little side hustle on the go. To people that don't know, of course, you know, creating these kind of things seems incredibly technical, but as you've seen, it was really, really simple. There are people that sell services on places like Upwork and Fiverr that charge quite a lot to create video intros, outros, logo stingers, and other things. And if you want to, you can get a little piece of the action or you can offer these things as bonuses to people. If you're an affiliate marketer, you can create these for local businesses if you want to do that. It's really up to you how you use these. But there's so much potential by having something like videos. Now, I mentioned selling these to other people. That does mean you will need the commercial license. So let me go and talk you through the actual funnel and the pricing. So I'm open up here. This is actually a written review on videos that I'm about to publish. By the time you watch this video, this will be published. There'll be a link below this video to check this out. So you can see that it's $47 or $67. Let's scroll down a little bit. Now, $47, you get the personal license. For $20 extra, you get the commercial. To be perfectly honest, if you are gonna pick this up, get the commercial. It makes no sense just to get the personal. 
So the commercial license will give you a bunch more templates. It says 230 extra templates. With the personal one, you can create 30 videos per month. And that might be fine if you're just getting started and it's only for personal use. But if you wanna you know, sell these to other people, you do need the commercial license. With the commercial one, you can also you know, render multiple videos at the same time and do all kinds of things. So for 20 bucks, it's definitely worth getting the commercial license. Now, with regards to the upgrades, let me just bring this up here. You can see that there is a uh, two upgrades. The first one is a template club for $37 per month. Uh, and again, if you are going to you know, use this as a side income and create these for clients and customers, you might want to look into that. For other people, it may not be necessary. You get new templates every single month. They've been running this for a while, and it's definitely worth looking at if that's something that interests you. Now, the last and final upgrade is a little bit pricier. It's $297 per month. Now, you might be thinking, wow. Um, the reason it's that much is, it, is because you're getting white label access. And what that means in simple terms is although videos is created by Joey, Jamie and David, you basically get to quote unquote own it for yourself. You can rebrand it, you can put your own name on it um, and you can basically sell it as if it were your own and they take care of all of the technical stuff like the hosting and all that stuff. Um, according to them, this is going to be $997 per month in the near future. I do not know when that is and if they're going to stick to that. I hope they do because you know people should always stick to their word. But right now during the launch is $297. So in essence, you're paying $297 per month to have your own up and running software company. And somebody that's invested in software, I know that's a steal. But to people looking from the outside, that may seem expensive. So I'm not going to, you know, say you need it or you don't it's really entirely up to you now if i take you over to this page here these are brand new features that the current videos has that the previous versions didn't so i'm just going to briefly walk you through we've looked in the you know we've logged in and we've had a walkthrough of how it works i mentioned the different aspect ratios we've got square landscape and portrait so great if you want to use things outside of youtube multi-font support so if you want to use different fonts to better you know match your branding or your client's branding they've got that as an option multiple audio options, sound effects. As you saw, I turned off the audio in one of my videos. Not everybody wants or needs music as a background, especially if it's a logo or something else. So you've got the option to turn that off. Uh, we've got the background removal tool, which I also um, touched upon in the demo. Um, image editing tools. So again, you want to make sure you're image is the right size then you can do that and the user library as well so you can upload and store images inside of videos you're not going to upload it every single time um, and the final one is the integration so pixels unsplash pixabay which is of course those are free for the most part they do have paid options those platforms they are free but it's just simpler to directly integrate so you can you know search through those different stock photo platforms and find things that work better for you so pretty much that is that. Now, if you do want to grab videos, um, then I do have a link below. Feel free to click on that and pick it up. I've got the link to the full review. Now, on my review, I also offer some bonuses for anybody that wants to pick it up via my link. Now, you're going to have to clear cookies to ensure that those bonuses are delivered. And let me just go and grab them one second. Okay, so this is the first bonus I'll be offering. Uh, this is called um, YouTube Snoop. This is my own product. This is a selection of YouTube ads that are high converting in a variety of different niches with different goals. I share with you the videos uh, and the scripts and where the land, what the landing page is as well. This is perfect if you want to run YouTube ads and you want to see what kind of ads uh, are very successful you can use that as inspiration for crafting your own if you want to spy on YouTube ads yourself you are going to need to invest in tools to allow you to do that let me scroll down a little bit uh, if you get the upgrade I'm going to give you access to my Embedinate software which is my own software it's web-based as well and this is a time saver this allows you to automatically embed your YouTube videos across a variety of different platforms these are the platforms that we integrate with and in fact I'll quickly log in and show you how it works it's a very simple to use software and like I said it's basically made to save you a bunch of time so we log in 
uh, once we logged in, um, you can connect to a bunch of different places. So you can see we, this is where we connect to all of these different networks. I'll scroll down. Uh, some of these are image sharing sites, but the majority of these are for embedding your video. So you'd click on share your YouTube URL, you would copy and paste your video title URL, enter a description, you can hyperlink some stuff if you want, and then you'd choose where to share it, and then you'd hit go, and it would share the videos or it would embed the videos on those places automatically within about 30 to 60 seconds. And then you can even take those links where your video has been embedded and you can um, share those on social adder. We integrate for social ADR. You can share your link in other places. So build links to your links and you can also um, share your image as well. So you can upload your image or YouTube thumbnail and share it on image sharing sites to help you better rank on um, Google images. So we've got those two bonuses and actually I may offer one or two more, but those will be on the review because I've not quite decided yet. So from here, let's quickly summarize some of the pros and the cons. So the first pro, as you can see, is it works fine. It does what it says on the tin. And this is really, really important. The last thing you want is to make a purchase, log in, and it doesn't do what it claims to do. So don't worry about that. Another great thing about videos is their support. You can contact them through their support desk or live chat. It's entirely up to you. And they've got a team of people that will respond in a timely manner and help you out. There's nothing worse than buying a product or a service and then not being able to get a reply when you message support. It's long term. It's been around for many years. And because of that, it's got stability as well. It's not a fly by night software launch that unfortunately you see too many times on places like Warrior Plus or JVZoo. It's cloud-based, so there's nothing to download, nothing to install, works on all devices, which is always an added benefit. And it's easy to use as well. I mean, I honestly don't think they could have made it any easier. You simply log in, as I showed you, you choose a template, you play around with that template, you render it and you download the video and you're good to go. It is super, super easy. You do not need to be technical in any way, shape or form there. And there are tons of video editors out there, such as things connected to the Adobe suite, which are very, very advanced, but they're incredibly difficult and complex to learn and have a huge learning curve. Videos has almost no learning curve. You've just got to navigate around the site and know where things are. It will allow you to create sexier videos, which will make your videos look much better and more professional. And it will really help you with your branding as well. Now, all those pros aside, nothing is perfect. It does have a couple of cons. Now, we're gonna talk about the luxury con first. A lot of people, when they're new, they're beginners, um, they buy a lot of stuff that they don't need because they don't really have a strategy, a plan. They just come online, I wanna make money, I see other people claiming to make money, and then they get all these offers bombarded, watch videos and stuff, and buy everything. If you're brand new, you've not made a penny online, and you don't really have a clear strategy of what you want to do, then this may be a luxury and you may be suffering from bright shiny object syndrome and buying all stuff you don't need. So you really know whether it's something that you need or something that you just want and like the look of. And then you've got to make a decision based on that. Now, when you go to the sales page, and there'll be a link below this video to that sales page, you'll notice that you get offered two options on the front end, and the personal and the commercial license do have differences. The personal license, in my opinion, is a little bit too limited. You can only create 30 videos per month, and you might think, well, that's one every single day. I don't need any more than that. But you make one, and then you look at it, and then you realize, actually, no, I don't like the colors on that, or I'd rather use a different you know, template. Before you know it, you've gone through three or four videos and you're using up your, you know, your video limit fairly quickly. But if you're just using it for a bit of fun every now and then, the personal license will be fine. But you can't use it for commercial purposes, uh, so you can't offer this as a service and try to make money from selling the things that you create to potential clients or customers, which you can on the commercial license. You get 230 extra templates and a whole bunch of added benefits as well. So if you're going to get it, just get the commercial license. It doesn't make any sense to me to really limit yourself by getting the personal license. So I think we've pretty much covered all we can in this video's review. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. And if you want to grab videos, there will be a link below as well as a link to a full on written review. Thanks again, and I will speak to you soon. Take care. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions or you need more clarification, go and watch the video once more. Over on the right hand side, we have some more trainings and reviews. So go and watch those as well. 
please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you've not done so already, and hit the bell notification. Other than that, ask any questions you've got below, and I'll see you soon.